Hey, what's up? It's Schnell. Welcome to a new episode of Prince Not Dead here on Vital Vinyl Vlog. Today, let's go over a little bit of Death Vomit Death Metal Fanzine Collection, 1988-1991, published by Razorback Records. Fuck yeah. And, uh... We'll also make this a little smoke time episode also. We'll be smoking the rest of my Blackberry Punch. Some heavy duty Indica. Some strong shit. Listening to some Electric Wizard before they became a, a motorcycle band. is tasty but death vomit fanzine thank you Aaron for this fucking heavy duty slab of extreme metal history especially not having really too much to do besides watch TV and read this is the perfect way to pass the time and also you know, have a look back into the past of extreme music and stuff, and thanks to Razorback Records for making something like this possible, because I love, love looking back at fanzines and artwork from like the late 80s, mid 90s, and just the art in general in here is fucking gross, it's metal as fuck, it's just good shit. If you can still get a copy of this, I highly recommend snagging one. I'll put a link in the video description. Like, it's got a barcode and everything, so it's not like it's super underground and hard to find. But if it's sold out, it's a different story. But, like, you have write-ups from, like, Grave, Deceased. Interview with King Fally, a lot of old flyers and stuff, and that's what, you know, if you're one of those people that, you know, you're real interested in a band's past, or a band like Akron, like, not everybody, now, everybody might not know about Akron, so, this is where, you know, you go and you check out, alright, what's Akron? You type it in on YouTube or Google and you go from there. That's what's awesome nowadays than the past. Because back in the day to find out, like let's say I was interested in this band. Well, I would have to write to them in Pittsburgh. So it probably wouldn't be that hard because they would technically only be six hours away. And I know Akron used to play Philly a lot. But that's how you would, like, get a hold of, like, the Messe Noir demo and stuff. Like, and here's, like, Cannibal Corpse. And it gives you, like, a little write-up and tells you how they were, you know, the ashes of some of Buffalo's three heaviest bands. Leviathan, Tyrant Sin, and Beyond Death. Pretty cool. Like, there's just so much stuff in here history wise and it's just super fucking cool awesome artwork like i've never seen that cannibal corpse illustration before but it just looks like a flyer thrown together but still it's fucking sick mortem from norway Death Carrier, Autopsy. Like, Autopsy's old P.O. Box. Anti-Poser Zine. The Trade Mafia. That's sick. Infamous Autopsy promo photo. Like, this is just a great, you know, if you're a fan of metal, 
you need to get this if you can. I know not everybody's a fan of reading, but if you are, you can read about, you know, some of your favorite bands when they were in their prime for some of them and for others, just like seeing like a band like Macabre and Deceased who are still putting out music that matters in 2021. I think that's fucking awesome too. Cause like this is for Macabre's Grim Reality record and that's, I think it's like 1988 or 89. I forget off the top of my head. Like deceased 1989 demo number three. Gamicide, Durketa. Which I, I think that's cool as shit. There's a bunch of like little stuff here with a, like Dr. Shrinker's Wedding the Grotesque demo, which is one of the best. In my opinion, one of the gnarliest like proto death metal demos or whatever you want to call it. The Durketta official rehearsal as well from 1989. Amazing. Pugnant Stench, Nihilist, Mortuary, here's Durketta again, Pennsylvania, Doom Death, and you can write to Sharon or Terry, that's sick, Mortuary, Necrophile, Hell Witch, Blood, Ripping Corpse, Wild Rag Records. That's what I mean. Like, just really, really cool stuff. I'm trying not to ruin everything. But, like, how would you describe Ripping Corpse sound? Sick, raw, heavy, fucking intense. From Scott. Vac vacant Grave, Nihilist. A little vacant grave catalog, stickers, rehearsal tapes. Obviously, a lot of these addresses are probably long dead. Just a really cool magazine. Apparition. Repulsion. The cat is in here a lot. Like, here's issue two. And it's just an awesome fucking zine, like, Mortician. Awesome promo photo, Will Romer in a fucking coffin. Timat. Horrified. Amputation from Norway, which is like death metal with members of Immortal in it. Nuclear War Now reissued their stuff last year. It's really fucking good. Messiah Death. Dark Throne. Like, look at this Dark Throne logo. But, I remember I had that t-shirt, but like, I think it said like, the past is alive. I, I forget. But this is back when the, the, they had the Kromlek demo and stuff. That's what this uh, adds for. That's what I mean. It's very cool. Like if you like look back and whatnot, like Marathon, Rod and Christ, you get a little bit of uh, Greek death metal, American death metal. There's a lot of Finnish death metal, Mexican death metal, like Cenotaph. Not Turkey Cenotaph. The fucking Mexican Cenotaph, Nun Slaughter, Funeral Brar, some like demos to check out and stuff, just like a list, and some like little pictures, Vital Remains, Reduced to Ashes demo, 1989, really cool stuff, Exit 13, speaking of Exit 13, smoke some fucking weed. Embalmer. A 
hypocrisy, merciless. There's so much good shit in here, like cadaver from Norway, crematory from Sweden. So much good shit. Like, if you're a fan of death metal, you need to get this. Or even if you're just a fan of, like, just extreme metal period and you give a shit about the past, this is essential, I would say. And hails to a record label like Razorback that, you know, cares about death metal's past just as much as its future and its present. Because Razorback, I don't know, they're one of my, like, favorite record labels. Especially, like, during the mid-2000s, that was, like, my shit. But, uh, yeah, Death Vomit, Death Metal Fanzine Collection, 1988 to 1991, written by Jeff McClutton. Fuck yeah. If you can get your hands on this, do it. And we were blasting Electric Wizard, Dope Throne... My personal favorite Electric Wizard record, next to Come Thy Fanatics. And then there's all the uh, pre-Electric Wizard stuff, which is fucking awesome. I always liked the pre-Electric Wizard stuff. But... Get your hands on Razorback Records fucking baby right here. It's a nice paperback copy of Death Vomit. Death Metal Fanzine Collection 1988 to 91. The font, the font is kind of small, so if you need reading glasses, I recommend them. But uh, it's good for me. And it definitely helps pass the time. And if you have, you know, YouTube set up, I have a stupid commercial right now, but real quick, I can show you how to find like a new band that you may have never heard of just by doing something like this. Now, all right, I landed on a band I know decomposed, but let me skip real quick. I, I know these bands too. I'm trying to find one who I don't know. Sorry. All right, let's check out this, uh, no. All right, let's check out I'm sorry. I keep like getting like halfway down and I'm like, oh, I've heard that band. I've heard that band. Obviously you've heard that band. Fuck me. I'm screwing up. I apologize. All right, let's check this out. Awakening from the Netherlands. This is a promo tape, not a real demo. Let's check it out. But this is how I, I think it's a good way to find out about new tunes, especially older ones. Like Awakening Promo is what I would type in. That's what I'm going to type in. Sometimes you might want to put like band, but I'm just going to put awakening, promo, and then I'm going to get a little bit more information from the ad and hopefully we can find something. We got hit search and right now we don't have anything, so we need some more. So space. Now, let's see. Formed in the middle of 19... Alright, they're from the Netherlands. 
The two tracks on this tape were called Phantasmagoria and The Birth of Leprosy. Alright, so we'll type in The Birth of Leprosy. And hopefully we can find it. Because when you find it, it's like cool. Watch, I'm not going to be able to find it. This is all going to be for nothing. Always forget how to spell leprosy. God damn it. <laughs> of course we didn't find it. But here's one I know we can find. So, you never heard crematory before? Well, that's about to change. That was a bad example. <laughs> that was like the most obscure band I could look up. Sorry. All right, here we go. Wrath from the Unknown. Sorry it took so long. So good. Crematory. But, sorry about that, but as always, thanks for watching, you fucking rule. I'm gonna try and get back to regular videos by next week. I just wanted to say hello, and wanted to recommend Death Vomit. Killer collection of fanzines from 1988 to 91. Listen to Crematory, and yeah, thanks for watching, and thanks for supporting Vital Vinyl Vlog, I appreciate it, Prince Not Dead.